Poor adherence to medication for tuberculosis patients has been one of the challenges in the fight against highly infectious disease that is claiming lives across the globe. While TB programs have historically used directly observed therapy, or DOT, to address adherence, cases of a disease relapse, acquired drug-resistance TB, and even deaths due to patients dropping out of medication have been recorded in the country. And as Emily Chabet reports, a pilot digital adherence technology, uh, which is a phone-based feature managed by a Center for Health Solutions in Nairobi and Mombasa, is aimed at improving the level of adherence to medication as the country seeks the eradication of TB by 2035. Close to 2,000 patients have been enrolled in the application since its inception in December last year in the two high burden counties. 50-year-old Monica Wanjiku, a resident of Ndonyo area of Dagoreti in Nairobi, walks into Chandaria Health Facility for her routine checkup. Monica was diagnosed with tuberculosis in December last year and immediately enrolled on TB medication. And like other TB patients, Monica is expected to take the drugs for six continuous months. Kenya, like other countries, aims to eradicate TB by 2035. The efforts towards achieving the goal have been affected by poor medication adherence by TB patients. And according to healthcare workers and stakeholders, the new digital adherence technology will go a long way towards achieving 100% cure rate for already identified TB patients. <laughs> TB treatment takes up to six months and because of this some of our patients get fatigue with taking their medication over that long period of time and so one of the global interventions is actually to improve the adherence of TB patients to ensure that once they initiate their TB treatment that they complete their treatment until the very end. Joseph Kamau is also here for TB treatment. This is the second time he is being treated for TB after contracting the infectious disease in 2010. Monica and Joseph are part of the pioneers of the digital adherence technology application, which is currently running in 194 government health facilities in Nairobi and Mombasa counties. The digital app managed by Center for Solutions Health in collaboration with the two counties has so far registered 1,900 patients four months after inception. This one it does. Nicodemus Ombuge, a clinical officer at the Chandaria Health Center, takes us through how a patient uses the app once he has been registered by a healthcare worker. Now, when the patient takes the drug, now this drug is supposed to be here. So what the patient does, when they want, just pop. And he pops it. Uh, for example, if he pops, like this one has been used, right? Mm -hmm. The number normally comes, there are always two numbers, right? Mm. It comes like this, like this one is zero 09, right? Yeah. Like now zero 09, now the patient enters this code, right? mm. and the patient enters the star 384, star 4000 hash, it will tell the patient, please enter, yeah. enter the code mm -hmm. behind you at the, uh, the code at the, at the yeah. So the codes are normally two. Inanisaidia kwa sababu hata nikichelewa kidogo wanatuma message kuniuliza kama nimemeza madawa. Sasa hata kama nimesahau wanatukumbusha. Ukitumia message unakumbuka immediately mara moja ya kwamba the system can be on any type of phone and does not need internet or airtime for patients to receive the alerts or send the codes, save for healthcare workers who need a smartphone to register patients and monitor their progress. We are able to provide patient-centric uh, care because the patient works very closely with their health worker to identify the most suitable time when they can actually take their medication. Number two, it supports the patients towards their adherence journey. If I have like 50 clients and uh, these 50 clients that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm following up, 
on treatment, I'm able to pick those clients who are uh, likely to have issues of adherence. Why do I say so? I'm saying so because if a patient fails to send the court today, and I, I pick that patient, I, I, I notice that he has not sent a court, I am required to call this patient, find out why he has not sent the, send the courts. And if, if, it, if it persists for two to three days, four days, then I know that this patient has got an issue and I need to strengthen the adherence of that patient. Or I can also recall the patient to go to the facility and we take the patient through adherence sessions. According to Nairobi County TB coordinator Elizabeth Mweni, the county contributes 12 to 15 percent of national TB burden. Last year, Nairobi County recorded 12,165 TB patients and 83 drug-resistant TB patients. Embakasi and Kibra are the most affected in the city due to a high population of residents. Patients who drop medication along the way are at high risk of developing drug-resistant TB, which is difficult to treat. They are also risky spreaders to the community. Sometimes I think in uh, 2018, uh, those patients who refuse medication, we used to go to the court and they, they used to be sent to prison uh, just to take medication. But due to human uh, right issues, uh, clients that are refusing medication, yes, we have a right because uh, they, are, they, are, they are going out and spreading TB. Uh, we, are, we are putting them in isolation facilities where they can take medication that is observed on a daily to day basis. Before the digital adherence, technology, healthcare workers could wait for more than one week to assess patients' discipline on medication. The frequency of hospital visits have been reduced by the technology, especially for those who are religiously taking their drugs, hence cost cutting on transport and time wasted. It is in a continuation phase. You give a, a two week, uh, drugs for two weeks. The next time you see that patient is after 14 days. If this patient has not taken drugs for, 14, for, for 10 days, you will not know. If you have taken your medication for a few weeks or a few months, you, you then leave it. Uh, the bacteria will change, will get the resistant type of TB, which will also lead to further damage in your lung. You'll get complication of uh, TB because the bacteria will still go eat your lungs. By completing treatment, we ensure that uh, the TB is completely cured, that there is no recurrence of the TB infection, and that these patients can go on to live a very productive life. We also have... The technology is expected to be adopted in all public hospitals in order to reach more TB patients in the country. Emily Chabet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.